Now at Eyewitness News exclusive, DUI suspect. Only our news camera was rolling outside court after this man, Sean Powers, was arraigned on drunk driving related charges. He is the same man who pleaded no contest last year to providing alcohol to minors. Those young men were in a deadly head-on crash. Now Powers could face more serious charges. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North joins us now live with video you'll only see on Eyewitness News. Well, back in the fall, in exchange for his plea, Sean Powers was sentenced to a year probation. Now, he was only four months into that sentence when he was pulled over by Warwick police. And while he pled not guilty inside traffic court today, he was ordered to turn over his license and he could still be sent to the ACI. 12. This is exclusive Eyewitness News video outside of traffic court in Cranston following Sean Powers' not guilty plea to a DUI refusal charge. You can't answer any questions at all? The 22-year-old was pulled over on Post Road February 19th after an officer witnessed his vehicle swerving from right to left across lanes of traffic. The officer says during the traffic stop, Powers staggered forward and nearly fell down. He provided the alcohol, and now he's using the alcohol himself and being pretty arrogant about, about getting behind a wheel. Powers pleaded no contest back in October for providing alcohol to a group of minors who were involved in a fatal two-car crash in Cranston that killed three people. The group Mothers Against Drunk Driving will now be petitioning the district court judge before Powers' next court appearance. If that young man, if Mr. Powers comes back in front of him, that, you know, it would be a different scenario that time. He would probably be less forgiving. Matt is also pushing state lawmakers to change the state's procurement law, which would make it a felony to buy alcohol for a minor who is then involved in a serious crash on the roadways. It is the one environment that we need to protect um, and that we can protect, but he is a really dangerous threat to it. Now, Powers will be arraigned before a district court judge on March 23rd. Now, if he is charged as a probation violator, he could be sent to prison. We're live tonight in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.